Will, come on down. is right. I came out of here and you were all applauding so nicely. I looked down, these three are applauding, and Adib, is that how you pronounce your name? Yes. Adib was doing absolutely nothing. He was standing there looking at me as if, well, what? Okay, so, one of the most famous game show hosts, Bob Barker. Now let's go to the Hollywood Presbyterian Church where we can encounter Lloyd Ogilvy. You think I'm going to get you up and get you spinning around in the pews, don't you? Wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? I love to watch uh, those who help the hearing impaired. So many of the wonderful words that we use so glibly have a physical expression that cap. Hi, are they applauding? <laughs> and finally, you went on so well, he went. <laughs> I thank you, Adi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want to show you the first item up for bids, and the price is right. It's a new. Pictures. What I feel and want to put into action at times. Did you know that the word for hallelujah goes like that? Oh, come on. You can't resist doing that, can you? Bob Barker. Come on out of that pulpit robe. Come on out of using hypnotism. You master hypnotist. You don't fool me anymore. I used to wonder why a preacher like you was in Hollywood. Now I know. You are Bob Barker. Let's try it. I can't get you up on... Let's get Your everybody hypnotic, around, hypnotized. Get you praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm hmm. So, Bob Barker, game show host, probably the most famous game show host of all time, has a joint role in life like most of them, they will bring in lots of money. Lots. Game show hosting and preacher. Mm-hmm. That's right. Bob Barker plays Lloyd Ogilvy. So I'll show you that on the pick triive. Give me a minute here. This is shocking. It shocked me, so it might as well shock you. Preacher Lloyd Ogilvy on your left. Bob. Barker, game show host on your right. Busted. Busted. Now, an interesting thing about Lloyd Ogilvy is that, guess what? He served 
as a U.S. chaplain to the Senate. And here's a resolution that was passed honoring Lloyd Ogilvie and his wife. Now uh, that's the references if you want to find it. Okay, at congress.gov in the 100th and 9th Congress, 2005-2006. A resolution. Why? Because he served as chaplain. Lloyd Ogilvy is Bob Barker. Oop, sorry about that one. <laughs> So they don't fool us anymore. Game show host, Bob Barker. There he is. Will also be Lloyd Ogilvy. You can hear the voice, it's the same. Can you imagine Habakkuk leaping for joy, spinning around in ecstasy? A little different accent, but it's still the same voice. I was shocked. Now, why was I shocked? Well, I'll be honest with you. I did a lot of reading of Lloyd Ogilvy's books. And I thought he was very good. Now that's why I have a channel, The Elect Deceived, Matthew 24, 24. Was I deceived? Absolutely. What about you? Are you deceived? Well, whether you think so or not, you are deceived. And you have been deceived. And, if I can add, we will be deceived. Matthew 24, 24. That if possible, even the elect will be deceived, Jesus says. Now, how does one go from a preacher to getting the church in Hollywood, Hollywood Presbyterian, and then being elevated to the status of Chaplain in the U.S. Senate. The Senate is phony. I know, maybe you'd like to believe that all of those are truly elected officials. They're not. They are care actors. Characters. Playing a role. And the one that we knew is Lloyd John Ogilvy. It was just Bob Barker in costume doing what? Deceiving us. So there you have it. This one hit me hard, and many other ones have hit me hard, too. But you know, God has given me a discernment now, and I can look at someone, like, oh my gosh, that might be, and then I investigate, and I'm shocked to find out. Why is Lloyd Ogilvy at the Hollywood Presbyterian Church? Because Mr. Barker resided nearby doing all his filming for game shows but he also did a lot of filming as Lloyd Ogilvy pastor preacher author speaker and chaplain to US Senate for I think five or six years in the Senate with a resolution recognized Lloyd Ogilvy 
They are all deceivers. Senate, Congress, President, all. A-L-L. And unless you get that in your mind, you're not going to understand a hoax lie system. I've had a lot of people put comments in my channels and say, I'm angry. Well, guess what? I'm a little bit angry too. Because I spent some time reading, listening to Lloyd Ogilvie. But guess what? I was deceived. So the deception is great. And I would like to spare you uh, deception. Just go to your Holy Bible, read your Bible, ask for the Holy Spirit, let Christ in your life, let Him be the way, the truth, and the life, and watch out for phonies. Watch out for deceivers. They're everywhere. And please know that I'll do my best to show you the deceptions, but I want to do my best to tell you just live for Jesus Christ and allow His Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, to guide you and lead you in this life. Thank you for watching. End of video.